Hey guys, we're at the North Carolina Zoo. I am Brooke, I'm an educator here, and today I'm going to open your eyes at all the possibilities that we can do with chalk. So first, I'll show you what we're used to. Simple hopscotch, you know, one foot, two feet, simple. But what if I told you we can make this a lot better? So first, let me show you what I've made here. The beginning has three different paths. We have a straight line, curvy line, and a zigzag line. Now I've done this for a reason. It's actually educational. So then we could teach people, our children obviously, that the straight line is the fastest line. But they might not know that at first. Personally, I would choose the purple one because it's pretty and looks more fun. I do this with my nephews and that's how I know it works. You go here, you just follow it. Now it says hop. I got a roll on the wall. Now we gotta walk the line. I put my chalk in the way. Now we gotta jump on the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and sit. Wasn't that way cooler than that lame old fashioned hopscotch? So guys, just use your creativity when you're doing a hopscotch. Don't reduce yourself to a little box. Make it as elaborate as you want and use your surroundings. Hey guys, you want another possibility with chalk? Let me show you a trick. We're going to make a pile on the ground. We're gonna rub it with our hand. Now we're going to attack Emily. <laughs> Did I get you pink? Yep, I got some pink. Isn't that perfect? <laughs> and it doesn't even stain your clothes. <laughs> Best uh, way to have a temporary um, paint fight. But that's paint. This is a nice contrast as well. You gotta like a little pink on blue. <laughs> Super fun.